Hey guys, it's Alex. Thank you guys for watching another video. So today, pretty fun day today. So uh, I'm right here with the homies right here on the highway. Um, I mean, I could just use both my hands right now because the car's driving itself, but... Uh, <laughs> Didn't ask. Have you been talking? He's trying to help you! Yeah, so my homies right here, we're on the way to this car show. Um, it's, it's a pretty big car show. It's, it's, it's actually, it's not a car show, it's a cars and coffee, but honestly, the amount of cars that show up, it's, like a, car, like a car show around here but uh so we're going there right now what i'm really excited for is after which uh it's gonna be the track so we're gonna hit the drag strip i know i haven't mentioned it already but i did get some stuff put on the car uh, if you guys aren't aware of that already we should be rocking uh north of uh, 600 wheel horsepower right now just a rough rough estimate right now with the setup so right now i'm just running a, a jb4 and then uh, down pipes, so I want SSR down pipes, and then um, uh, the fuel it, which is needed for the blend. Well, it's not needed, but it's very recommended. We, we rock with fuel it on the TTRS, so we're gonna rock with fuel it with the M3 amazing products. So right now I'm running about like an E34 blend, E35 blend. So with that, I think we should be able to get uh, at least mid tens. You know, just very conservative right now. I've seen people do low tens with the same setup. But right now, honestly, I did some test hits on the dragging, things like that, and uh, there's a lot of spinning, you know. Uh, the car spins, so I'm trying to figure out right now the launches and things like that. I think I figured it out. It's, it's a brake boost, not the actual launch control. We'll see what happens at the track. So right now we're running map five. Yeah, guys, we're running that um, that E-blend, so we should, we should get pretty good times. So right now we're just gonna hit the car show. So right now we're just gonna wash the cars and then uh, we'll be at the car show. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we got the car all wa washed. Looking good, good to go. All the guys are here. <laughs> Super simple to wash this, to be honest. By the way, if, I, if you guys don't know already, we got a Vorsteiner grill and we got the R44 inserts right there. They're dual fin, so they look, I think they look way more aggressive. Well, the original ones, definitely, but even like the single ones, the carbon <laughs> ones you can get from the factory. They look far more aggressive. <laughs> Homie Ozzy out here joined the BMW gang. He went from a Q50, Infinity Q50, to an M3. Crazy. He has a exterior mode put on all that. I think this color looks so good with carbon, to be honest. The interior, and this is my favorite thing about the interior. These seats, these seats are crazy. Insane, I love this color. This was my second choice, to be honest, for my BMW is the Silverstone interior. The only thing is, it's just hard to keep up with because they get dirty pretty easy. But this one's super well maintained. I mean, he does detailing, so he can really maintain these. He said he already has like, this is pretty common for these to start cracking and all that, so he already ordered some new ones and all that. Okay, okay, uh, okay, also, <laughs> steering wheel, he's going carbon and uh, leather and all that good stuff. But this car is absolutely oh crazy. Uh, Fully, this is stock at that ride height. There's like no wheel gap there. I can't put my fingers straight there. But the front. Hi. <laughs> What's next for the beam? Bro, carbon steering was already ordered. Appointment next month for tune, down pipes, intakes, uh, spacers are coming in next week. What else am I doing? Roof wrap next week. This is gonna be crazy, bro. All I can say is by April next year, bro, by car season next year, it's gonna look nothing like this. Nothing. Not even the color, the wheels, nothing, bro. Yeah, We're both 50 was bro. crazy. Little you guys need to follow him on Instagram. What's your Instagram? What's your YouTube? Uh, Ozzy underscore F80 on Instagram and Ozzy underscore VQ on YouTube. I need right. to switch it, but bro, I'll put that in the description. God's help, bro. We're gonna fucking make this look badass. Yeah, no, it's gonna too. be crazy. M3s are really growing on me just because of how wide they look. auction right here they auction off cars good cars and all that you know like repos trade-ins things like that Yodi pro charge sick 
music. Competition by Palm, LCI. Damn, LCI makes it look so much more insane. Look at the headlights. This is the first one I've seen in person. Damn. I were to build an E46 M3, it'd, be, it'd look like this, bro. Maybe a blue color, though. But fuck, that shit's fucking crazy. Damn, twin turbo. Holy. That's fucking crazy. Where you at, Blake? <laughs> Gang, you know how we rock. Built by Iros. Yeah, it's pushing like over a thousand horsepower. Yeah. He's the owner of the crazy. That's crazy. I need some fucking wheels like this on the M4. Damn. Got an M5 comp right here. LCI. I think that's skyscraper gray. The color. Good stock, bro. Damn, red on red. Damn, that thing has a parachute on bead locks. Choppy. guys so yeah the track was pretty trash i decided i didn't want to wait an hour and a half in between runs and the prep wasn't good at all so decided to just leave i do as many runs as i want on the street since i have a draggy so we went ahead and did that and you guys saw the results so pretty good results um i like these numbers uh, for the car not being able to hook at least and spinning on the pirellis so i'll post the pictures of the sheets here as you can see for quarter mile I did start off and I got a 10.6 and then I went, I was able to break into the uh, 10.5s. Uh, pretty nice numbers for spinning and not having like a drag radial or stick, stickier tire other than the Pirellis. But for 60, 60 to 130, it backs up the power uh, definitely. And it's pretty consistent too, which I like about the car. It is definitely a lot more consistent than the TTRS was especially with cooling and all that and the air wasn't even that great i think it was like around like 60 degrees or so uh which is decent air but it could be better definitely but for a jb4 with some ethanol mix awesome times you know seven five you know mid seven seven fours i'll take that any day we'll definitely do some more runs especially once i do get a good tire i plan on going with a nitto like a triple five r2 or that's my number one choice. If not, I'll go with some like Archer Blade R's. But I've heard a lot of good things about the Nittos. So I'm going to go ahead and go with those. I was actually going to go with those on my TTRS. But I decided to sell it for this. So we'll finally be able to get it on a car. And it's going to be the BMW. So. so yeah, once I get those tires on, we'll do some more draggy runs. By the time the car will be on a full custom tune, most likely. Uh, I don't actually have the car with me right now. It's actually getting the JB4 taken out. And it doesn't have the ECU in right now because it is getting shipped out to Famto in Finland to get unlocked. And I'm really excited for that. Going to get it custom tuned. Uh, as of now, what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to go with Paul Johnson for the tune. I already contacted them. Just wait on the ECU to get back, get installed, and so we can get the car flashed. I think we'll be able to break into the nines with a sticky tire and a good 60 foot. Definitely. Especially with his tunes, super easy to break into the nines. Super easy even on the street. But that being said, 
I am even more excited to be racing some fast cars with that setup. But I am going to leave the video off there, guys. Please like, subscribe so you can stay tuned, and also hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I do post a video. And feel free to leave a comment as well down in the comment section. I really like reading those and replying back to them. But that'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.